Hi, welcome back to Char Consciousness and I am Vanita Subramanian. And today we're going to be talking about relationships. And I bet I can just imagine all of you suddenly tuned in when you heard me say, mention relationships. Yes, relationships. Oh my God. How many of us are in relationships here right now, right in this moment? Whether it's a relationship with a significant other or a relationship with your parents or your siblings or your friends or with anything. Now, by definition, relationships mean a distance between two objects. So if you're in a relationship with someone or something or anything like that, there's already a distance created just by definition. Interesting point of view? Yes. So how do you actually have a relationship that doesn't create a distance, that doesn't create a limitation, but actually becomes an expansion of your life? How many of you actually are in a relationship that is expanding you and contributing to you and it's so rewarding that every day you wake up you feel like wow you know there's some magic happening here a few of you or a lot of you or none of you one of the things that we don't do very well in this reality is in the first place we don't even have a relationship with ourselves and if you don't have a relationship with yourself how are you going to have a relationship with a significant other, for example? So how do you begin to have a relationship with you? It is by beginning to actually look at all the places that you are limiting yourself in your own relationship. And that is your relationship with your body, the relationship with your health, the relationship with everything that, you know, that, that is you. So how do you begin to do that? By coming out of the wrongness of you. Because you're very good at judging yourself. You're very good at going into the wrongness of you, right? So all the places that you've gone into the wrongness of you, are you willing to look at it and come out of it? So what happens when you're willing to do that is you begin to actually receive you. And receiving you means honoring you, caring for you, nurturing for you, being you know, the energy of embodiment of what you should truly be in this reality. And when you are in that space, where you're in the space of honoring you and caring for you and trusting you and knowing you, then you begin to receive anybody else who wants to come into your life. But until and unless you're willing to do that for yourself, how can you be that for somebody else? And how can anybody else be that for you? Because the moment you actually go into the judgment of you, you also have that tendency to be in judgment of other people. So one of the tools that you know that you can actually start looking at yourself is being in question. How many of you have gone into the relate into a relationship already having a definition of what you would like that relationship to be? You know, whether there is a right man for you if you're a woman or a right woman for you if you're a man. What if there is none of that? What if there's no such thing as a right man or a right woman? right so what if you go into the relationship being in question and asking the question is it rewarding for me to be with this person will this person contribute to my life and will I contribute to them and will they it will and would we actually expand one another well that's the beginning of you having a relationship based on communion not based on judgment not a validation of other people's reality about what relationship is not based on anything but a communion with the person that you're with does that sound like a something that is far more rewarding and expensive for you rather than all the points of view that you had about what relationship is in this reality so we don't do relationships very well in this reality because we're always what we do what we tend to do when we go into a relationship is we tend to divorce ourselves in a relationship. Does that sound familiar? Hell yeah! What you do is you start bending and mutilating and stapling and folding you in a relationship to the point that you're not you anymore in that relationship. Does that sound familiar? Absolutely. So we're cute but we're not bright. But yet we, we want to have all those and we desire to have a relationship that is based on a communion. We desire to have the relationship based on what's going to expand not only us but the person that we're with. 
it doesn't matter whether it's a significant other it doesn't matter whether it's a you know it's just between friends it doesn't matter, matter whether it's with your siblings or with your parents but it's just a beginning of looking at all the places that you've judged you in the relationship that you've gone into the wrongness of you and taking all those points of view that you've known what relationship is about getting it all out of your universe and beginning to look at okay beginning to begin with asking some questions and then choosing from that choosing what is rewarding for you choosing what is going to expand your life choosing what works for you not for anybody else and the other element too is that once you get out of judging the other person because judgment creates limitation and your point of view creates your reality not your reality creates your point of view if you get rid of all that and you're aware of these tools that I'm sharing with you today you know what else could change could it change your relationship absolutely but are you willing to take that step you know the step first step begins with you always so all the places you're unwilling to do that are you willing to now look at it differently before we end today's um, segment I like to actually address a question that was sent to me and this is from um, someone in Papatoi I'm not going to mention the person's name and the question was around this person is in a relationship and they come from two different backgrounds and how do they actually you know be together without having all the issues that's coming out the fact that they come from two different cultures now that's very interesting here we are we live in New Zealand we're you know multicultural really it used to be bicultural and how much of um, you know of, of us including me who comes from a different culture and have come in here and come to live in this country have been in relationships with people of different cultures now that is the judgment that's a prime example of where we buy into other people's points of view and judgments in this reality doesn't matter what the person's background is because every time you look at you define someone by their background that is judgment we did a series um, a segment not long ago on judgment and and it's talking about all the places where where you judge anything where you define anything where you conclude anything is all the places where you are actually limiting yourself so if you have this amazing communion with this person and you you know and everything just feels like magic about being with this person and you've asked all the questions that is actually expanding your relationship and being with them and being in the zone where you're both contributing to one another then what does it matter in regards to the background or the culture or the religion that you share because that is the definition of this reality we're so you know compelled and impelled to put boxes around us as if that's what defines us no it's not what defines you it's not what expands you every definition is a limitation every place that you define you based on your culture based on your religion based on your gender based on anything is a limitation because it's as if that's all there is to you so my friend from Papatoi what if you could put aside put away all those definitions of you know the relationship that you're with this beautiful woman who you're obviously very much in love with and and you have an incredible relationship with and not validate other people's points of view because that's the other thing we do and you know that's a whole segment about how we validate other people's realities and we live as if that's what defines us so there's a tool in access consciousness that we teach and and I facilitate a lot of my clients that I you know have personal sessions with the tool is a truth will always make you feel lighter and a lie will always make you feel heavier so ask yourself does this feel heavy you know when you look at all the places that you try to define yourself absolutely so that means there is a lie attached the truth of it is when it feels lighter when it feels ease and that's like so much space then you know that there is you know that it's working for you that's correct for you that feels you know light for you so go with the knowing that this relationship is a contribution to you and it's expanding your life and all those definitions all those little 
places where, you know, whether it's your religion, your culture, it becomes, you know, it doesn't become important anymore because you're not focusing on that. You're focusing on the person, the being that you are. So I hope that, you know, that helps facilitate some of those places that you have created some funk around. And if you require to know more, please call me. The number is down there and I've got my email address on the screen as well. Just contact me and I would love to facilitate you and your relationship further. So, and any of you out there who's listened to today's segments on conscious relationships, and how to be consciously aware in your relationship, well, feel free to write in and ask more questions. And if we have time in the next segment, I'll definitely address some of your questions on, on screen. Thank you very much for tuning in today and have a wonderful time and see you next time on Char Consciousness. Bye.